as an overall, how would you describe this, this uh, season with the Suns? Uh, it was a fun one. It was a fun one. Uh, it was exciting to be a part of um, this group, a uh, fairly new group, a new coach, new coaching staff, you know, new players. I thought we did a great job of, of uh, getting better each and every day. And me as a leader, um, I'm very proud to be a part of a, such a group that uh, fought for each other every night, sacrificed, and you know, were great teammates throughout the whole season. So it was uh, definitely fun. Kevin, what do, when you make your decision this summer, what are the factors that go into that decision? Uh, just, uh, you know, when I sit down and think about it, man, to be honest, I really haven't put that you know, that list together, I guess. But, you know, just being around great people, being in a great basketball environment, that's the most two, that's the two most important things for me. You know, that's all I really care about. You know, who, I, who I'm going to be doing life with every single day, who I'm going to be playing basketball with every day. Kevin, around March, there was a report that you were looking to be recruited and courted like LeBron James in your free agency the way he was back uh, two years ago. I mean, taking multiple visits to cities, listening to pitches. Is that what you want? I never said that. That's not who I am. Um, no, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, whatever this thing entails, you know, I'm, I'm willing to take it head on. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not that type of person. I mean, that's not really, like I said, my t the two most important things for me is, uh, you know, being around great people and, you know, having fun playing basketball. So, you know, all that other stuff that comes with, you know. Being who I am or being in this position is not really for me. It's not really what I'm concerned with. So I, I never said that, obviously. You know, you could say that about any player in this position. So, uh, but yeah. Kevin, a year ago today, you were in a boot and, you know, wheeling stuff around. Can you just as you look back on the, yeah. the last 12 months of your life, are you <clears throat> proud of just the strides that you've made in all aspects of your life? Yeah, we, man, me and Sam was just talking about that. Um, just now, you know, it's, I was in his office at the same time. Well, not the same time, but around this time last year, and uh, on the scooter <laughs> in the cast. So, you know, it's a lot has changed in a year, and uh, just grateful that I got to, you know, I was able to stay with it and keep my head focused to, you know, move past that phase and get, you know, making it to this point. That's just a, that's an accomplishment for me in itself. So it means a lot. It means a lot that I had the support here and the people here to help me kind of get through that time. And it was uh, definitely something I'm always going to remember. And, and, you know, just know I learned a lot of lessons from that time as well. So, uh, you know, it, it's cool. It's cool to be here walking. <laughs> the fact that you've been, you've been through long playoff runs before, but because you missed all of last year, did you appreciate this a little bit more so than others? Yeah, most definitely, man. I was so excited. I, I'm sure you guys could tell. I, you know, the first few games in the playoffs, I was just so excited to be a part of the, that atmosphere again and to be back on that level. It was just amazing. I appreciate every single moment. You know, we, we uh, you know, just I always revert back to me being injured because that was the uh, first time something got taken away from me that I love so much. And it just made me appreciate every moment, you know, because we can you easily talk about, you know, the end result of things. But, you know, the whole journey, you know, we talk about the end result. If it's not where it should be, then it's a failure. But I look at it as like, look, man, this is an important part of my life. This was something I'm, this memory is something I'm always going to carry. And it was just, it was just great to be a part of, you know, to be on the court playing in that atmosphere again. How much of a challenge was it? Are very loyal uh, and they're obviously anticipating your decision. What would be your message to them for uh, respect of what you're going through and, and maybe to honor what you're going through? What would be your message to the fan base? Uh, well, just know I, I respect, you know, the fans here. I love them. Um, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it's something that I'm a – you know, try to take care with my close family and friends, my my close, you know, my tight knit circle that I have, and you know, it's not like I'm trying to keep anything away. It's just that it's something, just something that is so important, and um, it's, it's just a huge decision. Um, I want to keep it within, you know, the people I trust, just to, you know, you know, just to, you know, I guess. Just, you know, just to keep it there, I guess. I don't know. I just want to. I just want some time to like really decompress and reflect on this season. Um, you know, so I can, uh, you know, move on with the summer and move on with the, you know, 
you know, this whole process. So it may seem like I'm not talking, I'm not giving information or, or whatever, but I'm just really trying to make sure, you know, I tie every I tie everything up properly and, 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 and make this thing uh make this thing right. So, you know. I'm <laughs> kinda hard explaining that question. Uh answering that question, but hopefully you got what I meant. The idea of a, of a one-year deal has kind of exploded out there a lot. What's kind of your thought process of potentially a shorter-term deal can make you a lot more money down the road? It's too soon, bro. Uh, I, re- I mean, I really haven't thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll talk to you know who I need to talk to 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 figure out you know the numbers and all that stuff that goes on. But right now, like I said, I'm I just I'm still reflecting. I'm still in game seven mode right now. I'm still trying to get out of that. And um, we're just reflect on a year and, you know, hanging out with my teammates, you know, these next few days while we all here in OKC. I think that's one thing I'm really focused on right now. But once, once you know, give me, like I said, a few weeks to really, you know, wind down a bit and then, you know, uh, I'll start having those uh, discussions. You mentioned your tight-knit circle. Russell Westbrook's obviously got a decision a year from now, too. Yeah. I mean, is he part of the people you'll talk to, you know, about the Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to talk to, you know, you know, one of my teammates, you know, obviously, you know, we've been through uh, we've been through a lot. We know each other very, very well. But, you know, it's one of these it's one of these things where I just, you know, I got to just hear from me and hear like what I want and talk to myself on what I need and, you know, how I can make this thing, you know, uh, work for myself and, you know, just try to be a little selfish a bit. And obviously I want to ask for advice, but I also, uh, you know, want to make decision that's that's best for me. And um uh, you know, I'm sure at some point me and Russell will sit down and talk. Um, but he's put no pressure on me. He's not really – he's been just great in this whole thing and just being my friend. And I think that's one thing I needed throughout the whole year, throughout this whole process, is just people to be my friend and worry about me as a person. You handled this whole – it seemed like you handled this whole year and all the uncertainty about your son. So it seemed like you handled it really well. Billy talked about how much you appreciated that. Did it wear on you at all? And is it is it something you'd like to avoid if possible so you don't have to do this again? I mean, does a, a multi-year contract appeal to you just so you don't have to go through another year of, of all this uncertainty? Like I said, like, that's, that's why I'm, a little, I'm fumbling over my words a bit in this, in this uh, press conference because I, I really haven't, like the question you guys are asking, I really haven't wrapped my mind around it yet. Uh, you know, since it's so fresh with us just, uh, you know, coming out of the playoffs, I really haven't thought about you know, next week more so than ne- you know next month or what, what's going to happen. I'm just trying to. I just try to stay in the moment as much as I can, and I think I'm still in that moment now that I can't really, I can't really say. But um, like I said, I, I'm still trying to f- you know figure out this, figure this whole thing out, and um, you know just get away from the game, get away from all of this stuff for as long as I can, and uh, come back refreshed. So that's my main concern. Kevin, nine years with this franchise, What, as you, you reflect, what are you most appreciative and thankful for? Just the way we built this from the ground up. You know, just the journey that we all took together from the ground up. You know, like I mean, Sam and I were talking, and he was just like, we started, we started in a roller rink, and, you know, we, we made it to, you know, like, Western Conference Finals year after year, made it to the finals before. We have so many, you know, individual, you know, accolades that come through here from, you know, uh, MVPs to first team all NBAs to, you know, all this stuff that comes through here. And the brand Oklahoma City is just so uh, world known now. I think that's that just shows how much the organization, you know, put the players first and put basketball first, uh, but also put the community and, you know, and this whole this whole atmosphere. We, we grouped it all into our organization and made it one. And that kind of drove us to where we wanted to go. So. Just knowing that, I think that was the most, that's the most, you know, that's what I'm so proud of and just to be a part of something that started really from, from nothing. How do you expect what just happened in the, in the playoffs and, the, you know, your young core, Steven Adams, those kind of guys playing as well as they did in the playoffs? How do you think that might affect your decision as, as you kind of look at what this core could become? Well, I like, I like how those guys play, you know, and I think the next phase, you know, for all of us is, you know, what are, what are our decisions going to be this summer? If we're going to work on our game to come back even better uh, or we're going to be excited about what we did and, and uh 
you know, be complacent or we won't want more. I think that's the next step for us all is, is thinking of how we can all be better. And uh, I know these guys, man. I know them. They work hard, you know, from Steven to the Dre to Dion. They work extremely hard. So I have no regrets that I have no, you know, doubts that it, they'll all come back better or, you know, so that's that's definitely a, a huge part of it. I enjoy playing with these guys all year. I enjoy, you know, helping and learning from them as well. So, you know, I have no doubts that, you know, we'll all come back a better group. How were you able Oklahoma to put aside the hoop block? What has Oklahoma City meant to you in your career on and off the board? You kind of spent your whole adult life here in a way. Yeah, you're right. I have, you know, I have. It's, it's home. You know, I've been here for so long, been here for eight years. And, uh, you know, uh, for, you know, the time has flown by. You know, time, you don't really, you don't really know, you know, the time flies when you're having fun. That's what, you know, that's what I was, that's what I heard. And I think, you know, as time is going past so quickly, I've learned so much about myself by being here as a basketball player and as a man. You know, I've been through a lot of different experiences just in this city. And, uh, you know, something I'm always going to remember. Focus this season, put aside the hoopla, dealing with all the questions. How were you able to remain focused? Well, I just try to make it about the team, make it about my teammates. It's unfair to the organization and to my teammates to be distracted. Um, you know, I had to be the best me I can be. And I think, you know, I, I was proud of how, you know, I was able to stand the moment. And that has been a struggle for me, um, you know, as a young player in this league. And, and uh, so I was staying conscious of being in the moment, and I was proud how I stayed there, uh, especially throughout the playoffs uh, and the regular season. Um, so uh, it was just all about, you know, worrying about today. And once tomorrow get there, I worry about that. That's always who I. That's that's who I've been the last few years, just taking it day by day. Kevin, I get that you haven't talked about the specifics of free agency. That makes total sense. But have you thought about kind of um, what it means to you and your family, considering how far you've come? And now you're in this position to where, where you're, you know, the, the center of attention, even if that's not a place where you feel comfortable. Yeah. What, what does that mean to you and, and you know, the rest of your family? Uh, I mean, my family, they, you know, they, they're proud of me, excited for me, um, happy that I'm in, in this position. Not the free agent stuff or none of that, but just being a basketball player and some and fulfilling my dreams that I had. That they all seen as kids, they're happy that I'm at this point, and they just know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the hard work, you know, and all of that, and you know, the dedication and love and passion that I have for this game. So they can appreciate, you know, the grind and and how much I sacrifice, and um, you know, but they just still look at me as Kevin, little Kevin. You know, the, one of the youngest guy, you know, one of the youngest guys running around the house as a kid. I think that's how all my aunts and uncles and my mom and my older brother they all look at me as little Kevin. So uh, that's a great feeling to have when you have so many people surrounding you and wanting to know uh, about what you're going to do, and then you can have that balance of family and friends just appreciating who you are to the core. And I think that's what helped me get through this year, and helped me get through my injury, helped me get through it all. So. Definitely appreciate it for that, but it's 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 kind of new for me to be, you know, everybody wanting to know uh, what I'm going to do and and all this stuff. So um, it, it's it's kind of different and kind of new for me, but I'm I'm learning along the way. What did you see from Billy from the start of the year to call it an adjustment period, the first few months to losing Monty to the playoffs and beyond? Yeah, I mean, anything great takes time, and I think he did a great job. You know, we wanted to, everybody wanted quick results, and we knew we knew that you know it's going to take some time for us to get used to his coaching style, for her, to him to figure out what how every player responds to things, um, different personalities he has to juggle as a coach. That's hard to do, and it's being expected to go far in the playoffs. You got to give him some credit. He did a great job of you know getting everybody locked in every single night. We won 55 games. We I thought we should have. We talked about it last night. Me and a couple of guys, we should have won 66, 67 games easily this year. And I think that's all because, uh, you know, he gave us that vision from day one that we can be one of the best teams. And I think, you know, having Coach Monty around and then having him, uh, you know, the tragic, tragic uh, accident that happened you know, midway through the season, um, he kept us together. You know, he, he, he kind of drove the ship. And 
and helped us do that. And then, you know, with the, you know, the stuff that happened with, you know, uh, Mr. McClendon and, and Dion's brother and, you know, so much stuff that went on throughout the season that's, that's not normal for a first-year coach coming in, you know. He wasn't a deer in the headlights. He did a great job for us, man. He, he really deserved a lot of credit for where we were, um, you know, a couple days ago. Kevin, a lot of speculation that if you guys had won the title and would make your decision, it's pretty pat just to stay. But some other people said if you'd won a title, you might think, oh, you know, my job is done. Maybe I'll try something else. How does the lack of a title so far affect your decision? A lack of, uh, Barry, you're going to drive yourself crazy if you listen to everybody, man. Because you look, you, look, you look like you ain't know what was going on when you asked me that question. So, uh, you know, like I said, the most important thing for me is the type of people I'm going to be around every single day. And if I'm enjoying playing basketball, you know, that's the that's what I'm really that's the thing I really want to center everything around. And I love my teammates here. I love playing basketball here. Uh, and you know, so that's what that's what's important to me. You know, uh, obviously winning a championship is what we all want to do. But at the same time, you know, you want to be around good people. You want to be in a good environment. So a good a good culture. So. That's the most important to me. Did you feel you grew as a player this season? Me, I, I thought I was more cerebral than anything. Like, um, I tried to figure out which ways. You know, teams were playing me different ways. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't wrap my mind around how a team was going to play me from from night to night. I didn't know Boston might play me different than Golden State or Philly or you know Cleveland or Miami. Like, so I, I had to really. Think going into every game, like how I'm gonna be effective on offensive and defensively, how I'm gonna disrupt. And I thought I, you know, just all constantly thinking the game has helped me out. And that from sitting out and watching the game, that that was that was a main that played a huge part in it. So, um, you know, I, I learned a lot about myself as a player. And then, you know, just being the leader, I thought I took huge strides and and learning my teammates better, knowing what they need. Um, to be encouraged, to be, you know, knowing when they need somebody to, you know, kind of lift them up and knowing when they need somebody to get on them as well. And also listening to them when they got something to say to me. I thought I, I learned a lot and grown in that area, and I thought that was important for my growth as a player. How long the last bowl game six slinger, you think? Uh, I, I had to get rid of it the next day because we had a game seven, you know. Um, but when you look at the grand scheme of things, when you look back at it, you know, I, I tend to look at the whole run, you know, not just one game. I know that was an important game, uh, but I look at the whole run uh, from the regular season to the playoffs. And uh, I was just so happy with our team and how we fought every single night and with myself. Uh, this was the first year uh, where I didn't care about wins and losses. I just went out there and tried to play free, and I think that's when I played my best basketball. So, you know, I could live with anything that happens in between that. Um and you know, so when you know losing sucks, like I said, but when you give it your all and when you do things the way you want to do it, um, you can you can you know you have no regrets walking off that court, and that's how I felt. Thanks, Kevin.